we'll, we'll start pumping. Hi guys, we're in Siem Reap, Cambodia. This is day two of our trip, and this is a very special well. Alan White and the Yo Guys, you guys always support us here. Donated by the Yo Guys. I love your quote. When you when you learn, they then teach. When you have, then give. When you are loved, then love. Let all who thirst come to me. John 7, 37. And that's, the Yo Guys are from New York, Virginia, North Carolina, Alabama, and Mississippi. Uh, not only do we provide fresh water here in Cambodia, but we put the alphabet at the bottom of every sign that allows this lady to come behind us and teach us English off our sign. And I'm here with Savin Philip, of course. We have Harold behind the camera. And we're losing our lights. We gotta kinda be in a hurry today. But Philip, tell us a little bit about this family. How old are the kids? We got a little Cambodian ninja here who's been following us around all day. So this family have two kids. Oh, you man, eh? You man, Chnam? Dog Chnam, 10 years old. 10 years old. Wow. I don't think not sure. This little man is... Kakada, you man, Kakada? Five years old. Five years old. Five years old. Kakada? Kakada, yeah. Kakada means July, right? July, yeah. July. He born on July, yeah. Guys, the Yo guys, you guys have always supported us. This time of year, the hottest time of the year in Cambodia is always April. We're mid February right now, and Philip has said he's never seen it this dry. So these little guys, Kakada, <laughs> and his sister, who's 10 years old, and the little guy here, we think, is probably around three. Did we, yeah. They yeah. can always grow up having fresh water to drink. Also, she can have fresh water to keep her body clean, learn how to brush her teeth, all that kind of stuff. Alan, you guys, all the yo guys, we love you. God bless you. Thank you for what you do here in Cambodia. Thank you. And we're going to show you, Harold's going to pan okay. around a little bit and show you a little bit of the village here. I'm gonna do that. So uh, this is a uh, typical Cambodian life. Philip, tell us a little bit about the style of house here and all that kind of stuff. This is Cambodian style living, yeah. but very hot, very very hot at that time. Yep. And most of these Cambodian houses, like we've always seen, they're they're raised. And that allows the snakes and the bugs not to get in the house. But the problem with that is it's so hot, especially on all these tin houses like that. It's just so hot they drag everything down underneath the house. They do all the, the cooking and everything here underneath the house. There's all these mongrel dogs here that are just always just barking, keeping things stirred up. This is our little ninja. Give us a little, there we go, a little ninja pose. We love it, we love it. And this is our good friend Harold from Texas that came along, built 40 wells with us this time. Thank you so much. And Lise, this man here, Lise, thank you for, he drills all the wells and he and Philip, well, we couldn't do any of this without you guys. And the Yo Guys, thank you very much, Yo Guys. We love you, God thank bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.